what, what many uh, of our viewers also don't know. Seven years ago when we made our first video, that was actually on a channel called Editing Sports. <laughs> Emma wanted to try out his editing skills. I had got like an interest to do some editing on the videos. So the first video was, it was only me and Emil, we were filming, a, filming our training session. We were doing all, all sorts of fun trick shots. Emil was trying out a lot of things with all sorts of effects and it, 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 it was very interesting, you can say, the first video. <laughs> it became quite evident that people were more impressed by the actual tricks than my editing skills. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I think it didn't take many videos when I started to leave out those special effects and we were actually more focusing on the tricks themselves. We realized that it was the trick shots people liked, so we did another one and that's where Otto came in for the first time. I was impressed by the editing, <laughs> editing in the videos, but <laughs> the tricks weren't so, so good, so I figured I had to jump in and show Sensei's skills. Me and Emma, we played in the same club when we were juniors. And Otto, he was from a different city, but we've also known, known Otto for a long time. Our first viral video was the ping pong extinguisher. Extinguisher, extinguisher. Extinguisher. A candle, a candle shot, <laughs> <laughs> shutting down the candle. Before 100k, our biggest focus was on the challenge Pongfinity series. This is the series where you challenge us with the craziest ideas related to table tennis. Which is a super nice way to interact with the audience. You get crazy ideas, some of them are absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> but we get so much inspiration and ideas from the comments. Some of them are actually really difficult to pull off, even for us. I think the fact that we, we all play table tennis at a high level really makes it possible for us to do some of the challenges we get. I think it was 2018. That's when we started to make videos almost weekly. Before that, it was we had no plan. We were just whenever we felt like it, we posted a video, which was wasn't very often. Uh, we're thinking that let's give this channel a chance and uh, let's see where it takes us. When we reached 100k subscribers. It was really massive for us. We never, we never really thought we'd, we could possibly reach 100,000 subscribers. It felt really good and special and like we achieved something big. That really was a, was a big thing for us. We'd do a really special video for that and our idea was to play one rally with 100 different items. It, we, we knew it's going to be hard, first of all, to find 100 items and bring them to the hall. And then, yeah, filming it was, it was a nightmare. It took so long. <laughs> it wasn't really fun. There were a few tries we messed up and like 90 plus items. <laughs> and because it took so long to organize the things, so after every attempt, it took at least 15 minutes to get everything back on the table. And then, when it was the last shot... The racket cover was on the table and... The ball dropped on the racket cover and we thought that we missed it. We thought, oh, that was 99, we've ruined it. We thought it was 99, but it was actually 100. 
in the end we got it. It was only just over a year ago when we hit 100,000. So it's been really yeah, fast. It's crazy, like, yeah. it's, it's insane to think about it actually. The goal for 2019 was to hit 1 million. We had about 230,000, so it was a long way, long way to 1 million. We mentioned in one of our videos in the beginning of 2019 that... And don't forget to subscribe to help us reach 1 million subscribers. Yeah, it was, to be honest, it was quite ambitious. Then we hit 300k and it was time for mine and Mika's one set showdown. We had a lot of requests to see us playing against each other because we hadn't shown that in a video yet, so that was the first match. As you know, I lost that one, but I have to say it was on purpose so that Mika would accept the challenge for the 500k. So I lost this one, but I'm sure I beat you in a best of seven. Yeah, I won that set. And that set the challenge for the 500k big match. And to make things a bit more interesting, for what Otto loses, I'll cut his beard. And if I lose, he'll get to shave my head. So I think he wouldn't have accepted it if I would have won it. So I had to lose on purpose. I can, I can always lose one set to Mika. We hadn't done that sort of stuff before, sort of the sketches and comedy stuff. So we had been like postponing the idea for some time, but then we eventually got like the courage to, to try out something totally different and something totally new. We weren't quite sure how it would work out, but it was, it was really fun to film and... You really need to get out of your comfort zone and do something special. For example, screaming. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> uh, I'm not really a screamer. Ready? Yeah. I, I, I'm not ready. I, I need some water. <laughs> Hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it was a super fun video to film and we were like laughing all the time when we were filming the, the video. <laughs> <laughs> We had a really fun idea to do the intros in different languages. It was fun, it was fun at first. Guten Tag Susanne. Do hoke se hea plog. Tachia hao. Mina san konnichiwa. Everybody obviously wanted us to do our intro in your language. So the comment section was literally flooded with comments that do the intro in German, do the intro in Polish, do the intro in my language. And we stopped getting actual challenge requests. Everything was just about the language intro, so we thought, okay, okay, this has to stop. <laughs> we have to stop doing this. <laughs> now the comment section has calmed down and we're getting good, good challenge ideas again. Then came 500k and the big match between me and Mika. And we had a big punishment for the loser, which was, for me, it was shave my head. And for Otto, it was to shave his beard. I have to say, I, I was rooting for Mika <laughs> just because I think it's worse to lose the hair than it's losing the, the beard. I've played Otto so many times and this time it was, it was just different. Mika really likes to get nervous on those big matches so I knew, knew I, I wouldn't really have any huge problems beating him. <laughs> what a shot. I've probably never been so nervous in a table tennis match in my whole life. <laughs> I didn't want to lose my hair. <laughs> I wanted to see Otto without a beard. That would have been fun. Of course, I won it pretty easily. But I just remember one point. He somehow like fell oh down no, on the no. floor. Oh no! <laughs> I've never seen Otto move so fast. It was so funny to see, like, it was serious business for him too at that match. You see that sometimes from me when I really fight and didn't want to lose my beard. During the whole match it felt like Otto was on, he was on top all the time. And... Mika just didn't have any chance. He was so scared to lose his hair. Whoa! <laughs> 
So, I've got my head shaved off. Ah! It look, looks pretty nice. Yeah, free haircut. One of the many cool ideas we've gotten was synchronized table tennis. I think that's one of the coolest videos that we have actually done on our channel. Something, something we've never seen before, we've never tried before. And that's actually one of the most interesting things about doing these videos is getting to try stuff that's never been tried before and not knowing how it's going to work. And this synchronized table tennis was one of those things. It's one of those videos that we thought that would be super cool for the audience to watch, but it just didn't turn out so popular. In addition to this sync, one of the videos that we thought would do really well was the bubble uh, bursting video. That was again like super cool to make, but for some reason it wasn't so popular. And then on the other hand, there are those videos that we think that this is not even worth publishing and then that goes like gets millions of views. So you never really know for sure like what's, what's a good video. At 600k we did triangle table tennis. The triangular table tennis is one of those examples that we were thinking that should we even like publish this video. We had messed up the microphones so the audio quality was really bad. And I think it has maybe a couple of million of views uh, up to date. Yeah, that was, that was interesting. And that's, I think also that proves that it's good to sometimes try out some new stuff on the channel because it might uh, do well and even start a series for the channel. Then we hit 700k subscribers. And the lake, lake ping pong was quite a big project. By far one of the funnest projects we've done. Oh. <laughs> it was first of all super cool, but it was super difficult also to arrange. So we, we spent there actually one week and the amount of time it took to film one trick shot on the lake, it was so much longer than a normal trick shot because we had the sun, it was always shining from the wrong direction. Oh no, the, the sun is coming, yeah. So you couldn't see anything. And, and then we had the wind. We had to wait a bit for the wind. So, here we are, on a lake, waiting for the wind to blow away. Because if there is even like a bit of the wind in the middle of the lake, there's no possibility to actually play there. <laughs> yes! It's just Emil's backspin. Yeah, yeah it's incredible. So strong. We had the raft like drifting away all the time. It had to be like we had to get it to the same spot again. And we had one camera on a boat, and the wind was blowing the boat this direction, the raft this direction. It was just, yeah, it's blowing you away. Don't go. We had kept on, kept on having to go and pick pick up the ball from the lake. There were so many things that were just uh, doing it very difficult for us to film the video. Oh, now the floor is slippery. But luckily we had our friend Patrick helping us out. It was really, really cool uh, when we were able to, to play in the middle of the lake. That was so much fun. We, had, we did a lot of filming and then we, we had a sauna every night and we had a lot of fun out the cottage that, that week. Super cool project. Really happy that we, we made it. Then we hit 800k. And then we made uh, two versus one on the giant table. We thought if me and Emil both play at the same time against Otto, then we're going to have a chance to win. I would like to say that I was sure I was going to beat them, but to be honest, I really thought I would lose that one. Going into that match, I didn't believe that Otto would have any chance to win that match against me, me and Mika. But how wrong can a person be? <laughs> we didn't have any chance. <laughs> But we thought it would be like a crazy advantage to have two against one, but it ended up we just messing messing each other up and Otto was just playing to the middle and neither of us knew who would take the ball and it was an interesting try out, but yeah, surprised about the result. Yeah, we realized that one million is coming a lot faster than we thought. We really wanted to make this video special, so hope you guys don't mind that we're posting it a few weeks late. <laughs> Yeah, all these years there's been so many fun moments. Jackpot. Or at least most of the time. Bring it on. Oh! 
There's been some painful jackpot moments. <laughs> yeah, things don't always go as planned. Here we are, one million subscribers. Reaching one million subscribers felt really special and incredible. It felt really amazing hitting one million. I think there is two parts reaching that milestone. The first one being that when you have worked for something really hard so many years and when you eventually reach that goal it feels really incredible that you have managed to pull it off. There's been a lot of hard work put to these videos during, during the years. But I think even more importantly, the fact that seeing so many people like being happy for us made it like really, really memorable and it was also kind of like, it was touching to see that the channel means so much to so many others too than just us three. Huge thanks to you guys because it's really it's really special to hear hear these positive comments from from you and, and that it means so much to you as, as well as us. Thank you so much everybody for your continued support for watching our videos and commenting your ideas that has been such a big inspiration for us. That really is the reason why we uh, make these videos. It's amazing to have one million of you guys following our channel. I'm really happy if you guys have enjoyed this video. So now next target, uh, let's say target for 2020, 20 is 16 million. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I think it's possible. <laughs> Just remember to subscribe. <laughs> we, we can do it. We can make, we can make 16 million. Okay, but honestly, 50 million. Okay, okay, let's, let's stop. And now that we've reached 1 million, doesn't mean that we're going to stop. We're going to keep doing new videos, trying to come up with new ideas, and we're really looking forward to the future. <laughs>